Dakota, or whatever. Well, here in Arizona, um, there is a league that starts in the middle of June for all the teams that have spring training sites out here. The only one that I know of for, that doesn't have one is the Rockies, and I don't, um, like, yeah, um, I don't believe they, I believe they still do not have a team out here. So, all the teams have a group of some sort, this isn't working, there we go, um, so, and it is called the Arizona Summer League, or Arizona League, um, so it's, it is different than something y'all might have heard of, the Arizona Fall League, the Fall League is different completely, they, the, that's a different subject altogether, so this league here is, ah, breaking, <laughs> the, um, a lot of these guys are young, uh, usually 22 at the most, depending on when you got drafted, if you're rehabbing, if you've been back and forth between being hurt, different situations. So with this one here, they tend to, some teams tend, tend to have more of the Dominican guys, the Venezuelan Latin guys, who this is their first year in the States, so they kind of bring them into here. Um, and it, it is a tra uh, kind of more of a commuter league. They don't actually, you know, you don't go three games, four games, you know, wherever you're, you're here. You could play the, like, so tonight I'm going to the Angels and the Diamondbacks, which is my boyfriend's team is the Angels. He's not on this team, but I know a lot of the guys, so it gets me out of the house, so I go. Um, they are free games for anybody. That always seems to be a topic, a question I get going around work and stuff or wherever. Is it free based on you knowing the players, or is it actually free? So it actually is a free league. They are unable to broadcast, do any um, broadcasting. They don't sell anything because we are technically in the big league Diamondbacks uh, broadcast area. So we're not able, you know, they're not able to advertise or anything. Every great once in a while, you'll hear it mentioned on the Diamondbacks games. Um, trying to block the sun from glaring here. You'll hear about it, you know, they might mention, oh, the rookie, the Arizona Rookie League. Sometimes, I've only heard it, you know, three or four times myself. I don't watch a ton of the Diamondback Big League games anymore on TV, but you sometimes do hear about it. But they're all over. So there's, like, this one is in Tempe. Hello. Tempe is this the stadium I'm going to. Um, so yeah, Tempe, there's Mesa, uh, Phoenix, Scotts, there's a couple in Scottsdale, uh, Glendale, Surprise, and Peoria, and then I think the Reds and, are still technically considered Phoenix. So they're all over the valley, um, so it's all over, it's free, it's all, every single night of the week, um, they play at 7 o'clock, I'll link the league site on the web down below just so that if you're interested and you live in Phoenix, you know, there are these games and they're free, which you can, you can beat free baseball. Um, yeah, they're not the big league guys. They're not, you know, Trout and Goldsmith and all those big name, big name, big name players, but you do get big name players who start here. Um, so Giants wise, I used to know one of the guys he started, I met him here, he's now big league. I know Mike Trout, because my, my, the friends I go with to these games always may, bring him up, that he started off here. Uh, Pablo Sandoval for the Giants is another guy that started off here. I'm trying to think who else. What are the names I can think of off the top of my head? Uh, can't think of any, anybody with Oakland, and then, so you do get big leaguers who start off here. Remember, all those big leaguers have to start somewhere. So there is this league. I'll kind of do a quick scan around of the field when I get there. Uh, I always joke, or I always find it funny that one of the ladies that I follow on Twitter, uh, she calls it the Fire League. And it's legit. It's hot. It's 109 degrees right now, and I'm driving to this game. It's been, I've been where it's been hotter during the game. Uh, they play them at night, which is nice because, you know, I'm able to go, but I, I feel for the coaches because I know I've talked to some of the guys and they don't necessarily like the night games because they, you know, the game ends at 10, 11, they get, the, 
after the players leave, they have to do all their player reports, and they're, you know, possibly not leaving the clubhouse until one or two at night, which does suck, but the alternative is when they, were, they do, I've been around this league a couple years now, they kind of go back and forth between wanting, between doing the night games and the uh, day games at 11. Okay, so back to what I was saying there. So the 11 o'clock games, um, I find, you know, would, wouldn't be as hot as, you know, 100 and holy crap, now it says 11. So, um, the only thing is you got, you know, direct sunlight. There was one game last year, they did a playoff game during the day because they were worried about getting a storm because we do get the monsoonal summers here. Um, and it was hilarious. I was hanging out with some of the players after the game and after, you know, that afternoon and I was laughing because all the, the Venezuelan guys and I all had the same tan line of sunglasses on our face. So it's not as hot, you know, at 11 o'clock and they get out at a much reasonable time, but it's direct sunlight all day where the 11, the 7 o'clock game isn't direct sunlight, which is always a plus. You're getting a little bit of, you know, relief from that but it doesn't make it any cooler. So it is a, a hot league. It's June, July, and August in Phoenix. Not much more you can say other than it's gonna be hot. I know my dad was laughing at me as I was leaving a little while ago when I asked him, is it gonna, is it hot? And his answer was, we live in Phoenix. So of course it's gonna be hot. Um, with this skate league, um, if you do come, you know, are able to go to any, I definitely recommend at least once if you're somewhat of a baseball fan. It's free baseball. You know, it's entertaining. If you come, definitely stop and get something to drink on the way. Bring something because it is, they don't sell anything and you don't, you know, they don't have any water. It's hot. Um, all the facilities are super nice except for one. If, and they go back and forth between playing in this, the big league spring training stadium and their practice field. So it varies on where that one is, but it's fun and it's always entertaining to get out of the house. Um, so I'm almost there. I'm surprised my friend hasn't texted me going, where are you yet? But I'm almost there and I'll do a, a drive in and show the stadium as I pull in. So I mentioned it being the Angels. This is also their minor league spring training facility is back in here. I'm not gonna go actually drive around inside of it to show just so for the privacy of some of our boys there. Uh, but that is our facility here. Uh, we're about to pull into the big league field. Oops, my finger is in front of it. Um, so I'll show you the spring training site here. When you pull in, I don't wanna turn the turn signal on because there's nobody behind me. Oh, that's a car. No. <laughs> So this is the first time I've done this. So this is the spring training facility, this stadium. It's a nice stadium. Ah! I cut one of the trainers are coming. <laughs> I always feel weird doing this and I know the players. So this is our field. I've always used the back entrance. That's just what I do 